coming to slide number 25, we are looking at TSM for VV plugin. This is a plugin which helps you to perform these backups and restores in a seamless manner. This plugin is essentially a WebSphere instance, which is which is a WebSphere application. It needs to be installed on a server. This plugin can be installed on a virtual machine or a physical machine. It can run on the vCenter server, or you can even install it on your vStorage backup server. Multiple plugins can run for the same vSphere environment. However, they don't run on the same server. You need to install multiple plugins for on multiple servers. These plugins come as a part of your vSphere client and hence wherever you have got a vSphere client, you can access it. It can this plugin software can be installed on a Windows box or a Linux box. This plugin, along with if you have got a flash copy manager for having hardware snapshots, it supports the TSM for V plugin. So you would have two options when you install this TSM for V plugin plus your flash copy manager. You have two options. Either you use the data protection for VMware this plugin to do a direct backup, or use an FCML enabled plugin to perform and flash copy prior to running some backups. This is the on the next slide, slide number 26. We have got the look and feel of the of the plugin. We can see that there is a vSphere client which has been opened, and we have got a plugin which is there present in under the solutions and applications. This is the plugin how it is look is seen when you log in into your vSphere client on, in the beginning. Slide number 27. You have got multiple plugins, and this is how they look at look like. You have got multiple plugins installed, and each plugin has been seen over here. Slide number 28. We look. We have just double clicked any one of those plugins, and we have just come inside. What we see here is you see your you see your complete infrastructure, wherein you have got a vCenter followed by your your vCenter server followed by your data uh, your data center followed by your, v, uh, your ESX server, and those, those are those individual VM systems which you can see. On the right side, you can see there, is, there are some options, getting started, summary, backup, restore, reports, and configuration. You can define a backup task directly from getting started. You can see there is a link under what you want to do. When initiate a restore, or you can do a view active task status. If you don't want to go here, you can just click on the backup tab and then you can get options for performing a backup. Performing performing uh, backups, you will be pointed to the same wizard wherein you can do a backups, which will which will be a guided method. In this backup options, you are pro will be asked on what is the source wherein you can select which VMs you want to backup. You have the destination wherein you can decide where you want to put this backup into. You have got a scheduler option wherein you can schedule your backups. In the scheduler, schedule options, you also have an option wherein you can enable an automatic discovery of newly added virtual machines. It's a checkbox at the bottom. In this, on the slide number 29, you can see there is a checkbox which you can select. Under destination, you note you will find out that there is an option of having a data mover. You can select which data mover you want to use. Which data you will be list, given a list of all the configured data mover in this environment, which are available through this plugin. You can select which data mover you want to use here. Now let's look at what exactly the is this data mover and how does it relate to a vStorage backup server? A vStorage backup server is a physical server wherein you install your client components, your backup archive client, and you install your TSM for v client software components. On this, TS, on this server, you can have a instance of a data mover running using these client components, or you can have multiple instances of this data mover running on 
on the same server. At the same time, you can have a single data mover running on one of them or a single and another data mover on the other machine. What essentially does this data mover do? This data mover is nothing but an instance of your TSM, TSM client which helps you in performing your backups from the VMware infrastructure, full VM backups or incremental VM backups from the infrastructure to your TSM server. All the back, all the data movers, whatever data movers you have got, you need to have them pointed to a common, common data center. If they are pointed to a common data center, then they, they, any one of them can be selected for backup of the VM machines inside the data center. Multiple data movers can reside on multiple machines. Why would you do this? Why would we need multiple data movers? It may be very much possible that the infrastructure is so big that you may, even if you try using the backup plan models, you won't complete your backups in a day. So in this scenario, you would want to have your backup running in multiple sections or running in PAL. In this case, you can have multiple data moves and you can select which VMs should be backed up as a part of a data mover. Accordingly, each data mover start, owns the backup for that particular VM which has been assigned to it and performs the backups accordingly. So by using multiple data movers, I can have multiple VMs backed up in parallel. Data movers can support multiple vSphere data centers if you have got multiple data movers, each each data mover would put pointing to a different data center. Multiple data movers on one machine, essentially you would do this for performing a parallelism in your backups. These data movers can be seen in your plugin as we saw in the earlier slide. I'm just coming back to slide number 30. You can see them as individual data movers in this section. The more number of data movers you create and point to a common data center in the TSM configuration, you can see all of them here. 